Learning objectives include various microbial identification methods. Microorganisms could be identified by various methods that include differential staining, morphology, motility, biochemical testing, serological testing, and nucleic acid-based testing. In differential staining, as we saw, um, various stains are implied. A um, very good example is gram staining, where we can categorize microorganisms either into gram-negative or gram-positive uh, groups. Similarly, uh, based on the morphology of the organisms, they could be classified as having rods or spherical, what we call cocci, or spirals. Based on their ability to, m to move with the flagella, uh, they could be motile and could be non-motile. And we know how to demonstrate motility already in, in a previous lecture. Then, because microorganisms have lots of enzymes, um, especially in their metabolic pathways, we can detect those products of those uh, metabolic pathways, and they comprise biochemical testing. So based on their ability, for example, to ferment glucose or sucrose or lactose, uh, we can categorize them, and that helps in their identification. This is just an example of a gram-negative, oxidase-negative rods. Such algorithms are available for uh, identifications of microbes. So this is just one example. There, we have an algorithm that says, can they ferment lactose? If the answer is no, then we would further go and say, can they use citric acid as their sole carbon source? And if the answer is no, then we would say that this is shigella that produces lysine and uh, decarboxylase. So these are the two enzymes and, the, and their abilities to do or to utilize various substrates and by which we can identify the species. Similarly, the, uh, we just would follow the algorithm. So these various algorithms are available. You don't have to cram for them. You don't have to really memorize them. But these are available in the books. So just follow them. This is uh, various companies actually uh, these days market various uh, identification systems. This is uh, the facilities basically the companies provide is that they put all or various components of biochemical testing substrates or media into a single tube. And then what you do is you take this tube here and you have isolated uh, or cultured microorganisms from a sample that you want to identify, you would touch one isolated colony with the help of this rod here, which would appear at this end here, and you would just touch it, and then you would drag that rod through all these different compartments. So as you can see that these have various colors, and change in the color basically is an indication that the organism is able to change that, utilize that substrate, whatever is available in these various compartments. And then at the end, there is a code, a numerical code uh, generated, and the companies that provide these media, they also provide these codes. So you can then generate the code, and by the codal identification or the codal number, we can then recognize what the species is. And the code, of course, depends on the ability of the organisms to either to utilize these substrates or not to utilize the substrates. So at the end, uh, a score is added that generate a code, a numerical code, which then you compare that numerical code with the name uh, that also the companies that provide the media, they also provide those codes. And they're against the code, the microorganisms. This is another um, slightly larger view uh, like here, you see this organism is, is fermenting, uh, utilizing citrate, also producing urea, and also is able to uh, utilize phenylalanine as a substrate. So all these numbers are added to generate a code that has 4 plus 2 plus 1 creates 7 codes here. So this code, it reads like 21007. And then... The company also provides a chart where there are codes available and then the organisms 
name of the organisms and their abilities to ferment or not to ferment. So as you can see, 21007, it matches with Proteus mirabilitis. So that is how we know that the organism is this. In summary, biochemical testing, motility, differential staining, uh, nucleic acid-based um, identifications could be carried out. And microbes could be identified to the species level easily.